Yeah, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, anyway, enough about easy skins, easy life. Let's get into map number two. Uncle did actually win the knife round, um, which you did miss due to the lovely advert. I actually really like that advert. I think it's well put together. It's also, yeah, it does. It, it gets you ready. Yeah, I know. That's so cool. It's like. <laughs> But yeah, in we go. So Encore, of course, because they won the pistol round, as you would suspect, they are going to switch over to the CT side. And I'm not quite sure exactly what's that going to do in terms of uh, the mental game for Kick and whether they're like, oh crap, we lost the first map and now we're forced onto the T side. But you never quite know. Anything can happen here. And let's see them push through now in towards apartments. They're going down in quick fashion. Are they going to find anybody in pits? Surprisingly, no. It's going to look like Mutt's going to put a lot of shots down range, hardly putting anything into Disturbed, who's only knocked down a 79 HP. In comes Khan with those dual Berettas, and personally, I absolutely despise those things. I cannot use them whatsoever. Khan is going to go down there to Roman, and the bomb has also been planted by the looks of things. And this is looking good. In comes the pick there from Fox, who managed to take down Zarte, trying to be sneaky in apartments. And this is looking so good here for Kick indeed. Bomb is going to well, any second if they are not careful, not soon disturbed, the last two left alive. And this is going to be a very, very difficult take indeed for them. Confirmation there that the T-side do manage to pick up that pistol round. And we said about how they may be slightly worried that they'd be starting on the T-side. And that wasn't the case whatsoever there, kind of. And I just noticed that my mic was muted. Hey! GG, GG, well played. Mm. Apparently I'm a bit... A bit quiet as bit well. So. Quiet. Okay, and just yeah. again, I'm sorry to disturb, but confirmation actually, the second that Epsilon 14 and Copenhagen Walls 13 on Dust 2 in the final map there, Epsilon were 14-11 uh, up, so very, very close game indeed in the best of three there in the last map, but we're more interested in Kick versus Encore here, and Kick will be able to buy those rifles. Yeah, yeah, one thing we were talking about, I mean, it's just an eco round, surely the CZs aren't going to win this one. We were talking about how awesome the ESL Cologne intro is that we play. Unfortunately, we do have to play it on top of the knife round, because they don't warn us before they go live. Um, but, yeah, I was talking about how much I loved the bit where Pasha cracks his neck. Oh. Yeah. See, I wanted to go up to him at G3 and be like, come on, why'd you throw the game against Epsilon? But I think he'd end up cracking my neck. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So. If there's one player in Counter-Strike not to go up and ask those sort of questions, it's probably going to be, be Pasha. Pasha. Let's be quite honest. So, yeah, kind of, again, like we, we were going to ask, who were we going to Was it Scream you said we were going to ask about his hair? Yeah, yeah what was, gel yeah. he uses. Yeah, so we're going to ask Scream about what hair gel he uses mm. and ask Pasha why they threw that game. And kind of, it's probably not going to survive Land Weekend. But here we go, Carmen, is he's at 7-5. <laughs> Uh, it's not going to be able to pick up anybody there as Roman does take him down. So Reflex also down to 14 HP, and you can see that they've got complete control of this A bomb site, apart from Disturbed, who I believe is actually in pit at the second, if that's right. No, I think he's in apartment. Sorry, I do apologize. But the bomb's been planted. You would expect Kick to be able to get this second round after being able to win the first pistol round here. Of course, with the weapon advantage, and that looks like that's going to be the case. And, you know, Kick are going to be happy with this. You know, after losing that first game, they started to look like they could really come back into it. Unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough because of the amount of score that Encore had racked up in the first half on Dust 2. But all the same, the fact that they're on the T side here, which as we know is the slightly less favoured one on, Dust, uh, on Inferno, sorry, and the fact that they've been able to take two rounds pretty easily here is always going to bring that momentum back up for them. Yeah, we spoke about it early on where despite Inferno being a CT sided map, it's not uncommon to see the terrorists win the pistol round. And when you take into a fa uh, take into consideration the fact that on the T side of Inferno you were only really expected to win five or six rounds, when you win the pistol round and you win the two rounds after them, it's such a boost because it leaves you with three rounds so early on in the game before your opponents even have any rounds on the board themselves. And yeah. if you can get that fourth round and force the op your opponents onto another eco because of how much more expensive the CT side is, then you can pretty much have five before your opponents on the more favoured side even have any rounds. Oh, Kill Dream blows Nasty Smithereens. Kill Dream will get two. Kill Dream with three. Oh, and well... It's a butchery happening on the I mean, I know, it, I know it's eco and everything, and I know that's not exactly crazy impressive, but the fact that he just picked up that quick headshot there on one HP yeah. is still, still relatively impressive. Exactly. Just for those asking in the chat, sorry to disturb once again, but uh, the map score is 1-0. You can see at the top of the screen, just under the current round scores in this game, you can see it's 1-0 to Encore. They won on Dust 2, 16-12. Yes, they did. So, Roman is going to check round Arch. But Zarte, the man they're looking for, is currently hiding at tree. It looks like he's not going to save the 5-7. It looks like he's going to try and go over to the A-bomb site and see if we can get an exit frag or two. 
I think in an ideal situation here, he'd be looking to get one or two frags and most importantly pick up an AK-47 because it'll definitely help him financially. But, taking that into account, it's not going to be easy by any means. But, I don't know, I keep saying but, Kick don't exactly have anyone looking at the bomb bar show sick. So where's Zarte gonna go? Is he gonna try and defuse it? No, nope. he's gonna save the 5-7. And 3-0 as expected, Chewy. Yeah, indeed, and Kildrew just managing to survive on 1 HP once again. So uh, I indeed. need to count how many times you say indeed in one cast. Do I say a lot? I don't you even do. realise I'm oh, saying you do. it. Like, everything I say, indeed, indeed. It makes me feel like I'm some sort of professor at Cambridge or Oxford or something. That's nothing to be ashamed about, though. No, no, it's, it's not, but I'm just... I want to well, I, I do apologise. Let's just get once again right, a hashtag indeed, blame indeed. Chewy uh, hype in the chat because indeed. of my. <laughs> now I can see why it's annoying. I do apologise. but Here we go into round. Thing is, it four. fits in at the end of every sentence it so does, brilliendly as well. It does. Mm, it, indeed, I yes, yes. I'm doing it. I'll listen back to this and work out what's going wrong and why Chewy is being a fool. But it's going to be the first full rifle round coming in for Encore here on the CT side, and this is all important for them. We talk about it so often, you and me, kind of, about, you know, after you lose those first three rounds there, um, when you're eventually able to buy rifles, it's so important to get that momentum rolling back in your favour and picking up that first round or well, the fourth round. We'll see what they're going to be able to do. They're holding strong at the minute. They've got those smoke grenades down just to try and cover any entries. And that bomb, as we can see, is stacked up there over towards Banana. So this would initially look like it's going to be a push coming in over towards B. And we can see, due to those smoke grenades coming out from Kill Dream and Roman there, that this should be a B push any second whatsoever. But it's going to be very, very difficult. We can see Reflex, actually, over towards the CT spawn area. And if he gets smoked off, it's going to be difficult indeed. In comes the push. Splash is coming down quickly. Shotik is going to get taken down by Reflex. Fox does respond onto him, though. And in comes the push. Are they going to be able to get onto this B-bomb site successfully? I do believe they've actually left one player on there. And that's going to be Natu who's at the back of the site. He's let the bomb be planted, but he's picked up a player in response. So that's all going to be left up to Fox and Kill Dream. Three versus two situations as things stand. Are they going to be able to hold this B-bomb site? We're about to find out. It's going to be very difficult indeed, considering the fact that Natu's already on there. Natu finishes things, in, finishes things off, I do apologise. 3-1 is going to be your score. And that was a very important round there for Uncle to pick up on the board. Yeah, it was really well played from Natu, obviously playing that ninja spot. And I think Kick only have themselves to blame. If they had fully checked the bomb site properly, uh, they probably would have ended up killing him. And, well, they could have avoided two easy deaths. And the round may have ended, en en ended a lot differently. But yeah. they still have the advantage. They are still two rounds in the lead. And like we said earlier on, they, they won't be too downhearted to have this uh, two-round advantage so early on in the game when you consider it's a CT-sided map. We've got Fox who's going to go up towards the top of Banana. Kill Dream as well. Bomb's being dropped at the bottom of Banana. And Mutt is going to be the terrorist playing around in app. So slow and steady wins the race, apparently. So let's see whether it's going to work for our friends from Portugal. Not at the moment. Natu, he's been holding that B-bomb site terrifically, it has to be said. The smokes are going to come out. But I think Encore will be able to differentiate between a proper B-push and a fake B-push. Because when we saw the proper B-push occur, we had at least three smokes on the B-bomb site. One at Coils and one at CT spawn. So, if you ask me, Chewie, I think Kick have their hearts set on the larger Ray bomb site. Yeah, by the looks of things, and again, just again distracting away from this uh, very quickly. It has looked like Epsilon have been able to win their match against Copenhagen Wolves, so that's going to mean that they're guaranteed a spot now in Cologne. So congratulations to them indeed. It was very, very close indeed, more close than some would predict. But in comes the push towards the A at bomb site. Zarte is going to pick up one. Shows it response. Can't gets another one though. With that um, AK-47 in hand, we saw how much damage he did with it on Dust 2 earlier on, and he's already starting to put some more damage into the works here. Grenade comes over the top from Roman there. He's not going to do too much, I do believe, but he does pick up a big headshot. He's left on 6 HP, and he needs to try and get that bomb down as soon as possible, because in comes the push here. He's got 8 seconds left on the clock. That's good that he's got the bomb down. It's not going to be enough to go. 6 HP was nowhere near enough for him, and Nato's going to muck around there before eventually defusing the bomb. So that's going to be 3-2 the score now coming in, and on court on obviously too worried about losing those first three rounds because they played pretty successfully so far since then. Yeah, and people asking why there's a big 1-0 at the top of your screen is because this is a best of three. And Encore won the first map, which was Didos 2. Uh, but one thing we need to bear in mind is that Encore chose Inferno here. So Inferno is their map, but they won the map which Kick chose. So that pretty much...
sums up the game so far. We've got Fox who's going to head towards Banana. Reflex and Natu lobbing nades down to the bottom, but only dealing around 10 points of health damage to him. Zarte is going to hold Arch whilst both Disturbed and... Who is that? And Khan hold Quad slash Apps. So again, really, really slow methodical approach from Kick. Not seen anything too special. We've all, we, all we've seen is a smoke at mid. Finally, a smoke at the top of Banana. I'm not sure whether it was the CTs who threw that or the terrorists. Judging by the position of it, I think it was most likely the CTs as they try to run the clock down. But we are going to approach the 50 second mark, and it is the 50 second mark where we start actually seeing terrorists force their push and force themselves upon one of the two bomb sites. So if they do decide to go B, which looks very likely at the moment since the bomb is there, and Zarte has uh, pre-predicted it, he's rotated all the way from Arch, um, they'll have three CTs to try and deal with, meaning they need a smoke at CT spawn to eradicate Zart, maybe even a smoke at Coles if they can to eradicate Reflex, and please, fingers crossed, please kick, check the back of sight for Nath. Shows it. He's going to pick up one now to Reflex that was, and wow! Four very, very quick frags indeed coming in there for Encore. Natu picking up three of them, Natu picking up four. I believe that was actually four headshots for him. So lovely work coming in from Encore to finish things off. And that's going to even up the situation. So 3-3 three, three is confirmed here as we head into round number seven. Fox looks like he's going to get an AK-47 there. I'm not sure if that was... No, they are going to force it up here. So they are all going to buy. And let's see what work they can do with it. They've not exactly got... Well, in some situations, they have got head armor, but they've not got all the grenades they would have potentially wanted. And of course, Uncle winning three rounds on the row um, are going to be very happy with their money situation from what we can see. So let's see who's going to be able to take round number seven and take the lead here in this second map. Um, it's going to be a close one from what we can see so far. Oh. Wow, disturbed. Great shot on Tashosi. I'm not quite sure how he managed to do that. Here we go, kill three knows exactly where Khan is. Oh, he can't get the kill, and he really should have been able to take him out with the AK-47 versus the M4. But Khan goes massive, trying to hold off Quad. He might get yet another kill. No, he won't. Disturb gets the double, and Encore finally starting to show us why this is a CT-sided map. Yeah, definitely. Four rounds on the trot in that kind of fashion is definitely showing off what it's like. And uh, if they can continue this momentum here, Kick are going to start worrying uh, very soon. And the fact now that they are forced down onto another eco could mean the fact that Encore will extend their lead and have five on the trot and go five, three up. You never quite know. Kick have looked strong in the first three rounds that we saw. Um, bearing in mind they were all pistols for, for Encore, but... Still, it could go either way here. I'm definitely not going to call it just because Encore had a couple of good rounds here. It would be wrong of me to do so. We can see Shosik here. He should know that there is going to be a player up towards top apartments. It has been smoked off just to, you know, uh, to stop that CT player pushing any further with that rifle in hand. Um, and we can see by the looks of things that uh, Kick are going to be committing themselves over towards this A-bomb site. So Zarte in a lovely spot there is going to smoke off over towards Archers just to make sure that they're not going to push through successfully there. But all the same, they are going to be getting their way through. Zarte is going to go down to the block, into the head. Still, it's not going to really make too much of a difference considering the fact that those rifles are coming in big. Reflex picks up two, and it's all going to be left up to the man on your screen. This is Shosik. He goes down to Khan. 5-3 is your score, as we thought it would be. And Encore starting to get that ball rolling here on Inferno. They're looking very good, Kainai. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for Kick to get back into it, though. And with Kick, you can never rule them out. And what's an interesting thing to highlight is Fox, how his gameplay... Uh, because I've seen a lot of Kick, his gameplay or his role changes a lot between maps. On DDoS 2, he's that dedicated author. He's always expected to be the man to get the entry frags. Whilst on Inferno, he's been playing a completely different role. And he currently has the bomb at the moment of Banana. And this is something I like to see a lot from the CTs. I like to see them throw flashes up Banana. I like to see them get control of Banana. And oh, we were talking about Fox and what a mistake he'd make. He's literally handed over the bomb to the terrorists. Or has he? Killdream needs to pick it up. He has Reflex to try and deal with. And he will pick up the bomb and run away with it back down towards the A bomb site. So, good round so far, Chewy. Who do you think is going to win it? Uh, I don't know, it's going to be a difficult one. I think it's going to depend on who gets those entry frags, and to, no matter what site it's going to be. I mean, obviously, that's a pretty simple point, but it looks like they're going to be heading over towards B, and I think if Kick are able to get these entry frags and get this bomb down here, I wouldn't have thought that the last two Encore players over towards B, which I believe will be Disturbed and Khan, will even bother to go for it. Um, it'll be too easy uh, for them just to get killed very quickly indeed. So I think 
the key to this round anyway for me personally could be entry frags here so lots of grenades down to go down that bomb is actually nowhere near that b bomb side of the second and it looks like that's going to be a fake so in comes a shot from encore they are going to try and attack the tension over towards the b bomb site doesn't look like it's worked quite as yet though so let's switch all of the attention over towards a as the teams have done disturbed is going to pick up one though has this worked the kick it doesn't look like it may have done flash grenades coming and gets caught but disturbed is going to get three there and oh, well yeah. disturbed with four kick choked the round after just being in such a great spot to take B, I mean, you know, that could have happened at B as well, and you could have seen one of the players over there do something of that fashion, but the fact that they got those grenades in towards B, then obviously meaning that they didn't have as many over towards A, made it a good chance for Disturb just to get that flashbang down range and pick up four in quick fashion, and that's going to extend in cause lead. They picked up six on the trot, and now Kick are going to start to be getting a bit worried, I would have thought. Well, I'll be honest, Disturbed had a shocker against Titan, but my god as he stepped his game up, currently second on the scoreboard, but let's forget the scoreboard for now because Encore are going very aggressive at the bottom of Banana, it was in fact Natu, but now they've decided to fall back, so fair play to them, where are the terrorists going? Uh, again, it's very slow and methodical from Kick. We saw them try to change it up, I felt, on that last round where Disturbed got the 4-1, but nothing Kick seemed to do seems to work for them. They always start off the round by smoking out mid, but the fact that Natu has managed to push so low down Banana, Encore literally know that this is going to be some sort of A push. Mm. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. I mean, again, you know, we can kind of talk about heat of the moment type of things, and these things may just slip your mind, but you know, these are top-class Counter-Strike players. They should be slipping your mind if that's the case. And once again, they're just getting absolutely destroyed. Fox eventually gets a return kill onto Natu, but it's not going to be anywhere near enough. He's the last one left alive here in a 1 versus 4. He's got a Molotov on one side, and yeah, he's just in a very, very tricky situation indeed. That Molotov has actually now uh, gone away, but still. <laughs> Encore, I, I don't quite know where, where this has all come from here for Kick. I mean, they looked good in the first three rounds. Okay, yeah, we talked about earlier on yeah, they were pissed around, so it's not really anything too crazy impressive. As Disturbed gets another lovely shot there with that M4 into the head of Fox. But still, Encore, yeah, okay, this is a CT-sided map, but to pick up seven rounds on the trot like that and to do it in such good fashion... What's going on with Kick? Why is this happening to them? You know, people in the chat are starting to get a bit annoyed and a bit worried, and I would be too. I do not quite get what's happened here with Kick, but not taking anything away from Moncor, they've really picked up their game after that first series against Titan. The thing is, some people are trying to suggest that Kick are throwing, but I'm pretty sure all teams who go to Cologne get at something like five thousand dollars anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, even if they were throwing. What, they throw for around 5,000 value or 1,000 value each to get the equivalent in skins? I can't see it, guys. I really can't see it. I think we've just seen a masterclass from Encore because it was really disappointing against Titan. And I'm not sure who their leader is, but I think it's Natu. And he's one of those personalities who, after they got wrecked against Titan, I like to think the other players are like this as well. They probably sat down on their voice comms and said, look, guys. We got Wraith versus Titan, but we have one more chance to head to Cologne. You know, the motivational talk. They probably discussed what went wrong. They might have even downloaded their POV demos and looked what was wrong. And they, they, here, against Kick, granted Kick are helping with their downfall, with their own downfall, sorry. But Encore looked like a completely different team. Ooh. And Zarte was so close to the double that Nade will do damage as well. But I do think that Kick... They need to get the bomb down here. Finally, the bomb is down. They are all on low HP. The smokes are going to start to expire. That nade is going to do a heck of a load of damage. Disturbed blows much to smithereens. Close to the three-man. Can't get it in the end. And surely, Show 6 is going to fall to his death. There it is. 8-3. But Kick still have time to get four at least. You want at least four or five on the T-side um, Inferno. Yeah, but this is really starting to get away from them by the looks of things that... You know, I said a second ago, I'm not quite sure what's going on with Kick, and then somebody replied in the chat, well, they're just getting wrecked, which is completely true, to put it in very simple terms indeed. Eight rounds in a row here for the CT side from Finland, and they are definitely impressing us here after not having the best first series against Titan, which maybe you would expect uh, with such a strong squad like Titan. They've really shown their class here and definitely impressing against, you know, a top team here from Portugal, of course. Five AK-47 is going to be here for Kick, so they've certainly got the firepower to be able to do some damage and try and get this 12th round on the board, which will obviously be their fourth round overall. But you never quite know with the way that they've been playing so far. I, I, 
I'm not quite sure if they're going to be able to. Obviously, I don't want to be um, biased whatsoever, but just with the way that Encore have been picking up such easy frags throughout this entire first half, it really wouldn't put, you know, I wouldn't put it past them to be able to pick up the ninth round with relative ease here. And someone was actually mentioning in the chat that Kick need to maybe give a sniper or an AWP to Fox. And you know what? Maybe that is what they need. Maybe they need Fox to push up Banana and get that early frag. Maybe they need Fox to do what Kenny S was doing to Encore to be that entry frag. Because we've seen Kick, we've seen them do this before. What they're currently doing now, we've seen them do this before. They like to take it slow, they fake one bomb site and rush back down to the other. Um, they send a few through CT spawn and hope they wrap, they can survive the push and wrap around Arch and then wrap around the A bomb site. We've seen them push all in and <laughs> when they did push all in, they went straight to the man on your screens right now in Disturbed and he's just mowing them down and Disturbed looks like he looks like he's in deathmatch at the moment, Chewie. Yeah, it does indeed, and it's just almost too easy for him. That being said, though, it is a three versus two situation, uh, but the real difficult thing here for Fox and Kill Dream is the fact that the bomb's down over on that A bomb site. Nobody's anywhere near it, and there's nine seconds left on the clock. So this is going to be 9 3 here. Disturbed doesn't matter that he's only on 19 HP. He's going to be more than happy with the way that this is going, and we can see Fox just doesn't want anything to do with the game. He's back right the way to T spawn just to make sure that he can try and save that AK 47 and kick here are in desperate trouble. They need to take every round from now on just to give themselves a fighting chance. Yeah, okay, they are going to be heading on to the more favoured side here. Um, and we did see them pick up some big rounds earlier on when they were down. I think it was 11-4 at halftime on Dust 2, if I'm not mistaken. And they did bring things back relatively easily, but it wasn't quite enough. And I feel that that could be the case here on Inferno. Well, let's see. They... Uh... I think they've lost five rounds in a row now, hence why they've got the small economical boost. But again... Kick of falling like flies, and that Molotov is going to deal a heck of a load of damage onto Mutt. No, they could dodge, they actually dodged it in, 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 in time. But, Kick, come on. We know you're better than this. They won the pistol round, and they capitalized on the two rounds after that. But, bar from those first three rounds, we really haven't seen anything from them. Nothing to really make me even contemplate maybe kick can even get four. I th honestly mm. think they're going to struggle to get four at this point. With Zarte knows exactly where they are. Here's someone running up mid. Easy kills, easy life for Zarte. He knows that there's someone coming out of boiler room. It's far too simple, far too easy. And kick, you need to step your game up. It's Kill Dream. Three versus one now. Brilliant flash from Disturbed, but unfortunately for him, Kill Dream did go towards CT spawn. Let's go over to him right now. He's gone back towards library. He is making noise. The CT knows he's there. I, I honestly just don't know how to put I mean, it into words. I'm new to Counter Strike, and I've still got a lot to learn. And you know, I need to learn flash bots, smoke spots, and everything like that. And I've still got a lot to learn, as I say. But Fox peaked towards Arch there, knowing that Zarte was more than likely 99% sure going to have an AWP and looking in that typical position, and he still peeked without any sort of flash or anything coming in there, he just looked straight, and I don't quite get that, I mean I don't know, you know, these are, you know, players on a professional level, and you know, they, they've got a lot more experience than me, so I'm not sure if that's a normal thing, but personally for me I'm not quite sure why even just a simple flash or something didn't come in the way there. But enough about that, we're into round number 14 of the first half, so of course two rounds left to go, and Encore are already in double figures here, Khan's going to pick up one, eventually the kill does come in from Roman, the Molotov's going to try and stop some people pushing around towards Arc side, and Reflex doesn't even need to worry about it, he's picked up one, he's going to pick out his 5-7 there just to try and get that final player in the corner, but Encore already going to land themselves on the 11 rounds here, unless Roman and Mutt can do something absolutely crazy, it's not going to happen though I'm afraid, Zarte with the final kill with that 5-7 there, the only casual he was Khan and we're into the last round of the first half here and whether it's going to be 11-4 or whether it's going to be 12-3 kick are in a real bit of trouble here well someone was saying, it's saying in the chat that I shouldn't underestimate Encore and I never have done I never have underestimated Encore no uh, I've seen a lot of Encore when they were Ents and obviously seen a lot of kick when I uh, covered the Gfinity Pro League because both those teams were in the Gfinity Pro League but what I'm saying is Encore or Ents, even though the lineup is slightly different. I know what these players are capable of, and he was a huge upset against Titan. But now we're seeing Kick do what Encore did against Titan. Encore were capable of doing much better against Titan, and Kick are much 
are, are far more capable of doing better against Encore, but they're just not on their game. And you wouldn't think that they've been playing all weekend. You wouldn't think that they're playing for a chance at Cologne to win $250,000. It almost looks like you've got one team of professionals who've been playing the game for years, and another team of players who... Who just just can't do anything. It's as simple yeah. as that. They can't entry frag. I feel like their smoke knowledge is lacked. For example, um, I almost said Devil Walk there. Well, well, where is he? Uh, Disturbed, who's playing behind truck or in pit. Smoke him out, terrorists. Yeah. And if these if Kick want to go to Cologne, they've got to know the right. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just very no, disappointed it's almost, in Kick. It's, My it's... skins aren't on Kick, but I like Kick. I like them as a lineup. On Dust Two, I told you that I felt they were gonna win Dust Two at least, and they've just been, they've been so bad. It's it's as simple as that. You know, we don't want to seem biased, and we're completely not because it's kind of like it says we are. You know, fans of both of these teams, we're not biased towards either one, but we can't detract from the point of what we're seeing on our screens. You know, it's as simple as that. Yeah, on call, we're on the more favoured side, but let's put it into perspective there. If you think we sound biased, how can it sound any other way for anybody when on call pick up twelve rounds in a row? Twelve. That shouldn't matter what map you're on, what side you're on. Twelve rounds in a row. And for to be facing up against a team like Kick, that's just simply not acceptable from the team from Portugal. They've got to pull out all the stops here in the 16th round, in the pistol round, of course, in the second half here, and try and just, you know, salvage something from this game and, and not completely lose all of their dignity here. But here we go, we are into the pistol round already. Shosik has been knocked down to 61 HP by a lovely grenade spot coming in there from Banana. They have stacked up three towards B here, but the thing that Kick won't know of course is that that bomb is actually stacked up over towards apartments made its way up second mid I do believe and it could be making its way over towards any second and if they do this man on your screen is going to be the only man holding it number seven which is actually going to be Fox so if they push in here it's going to be good indeed lots of attraction coming in towards the B bomb site reflex is going to pick up one and I just love the way that Encore are taking this pistol round Kildoom does manage to respond though but look at this they've just been able to get a free bomb site here nobody covering it whatsoever the bomb's going to go down quickly in comes the rotation and wow, I love the way that Encore played this. Yes, okay, it's a three on three situation, but just the distraction that they put out on that B bomb site was the key to making sure that they could get this bomb down here on A. Here we go, can the CTs retake it? They're a heck of a load of rounds down, and they need to. Good shot from Fox. That's someone to his right. The CZ is, uh, has been put into brilliant use, and now Khan is three versus one. He will go down. Fox single handedly retakes a bomb site. Roman is going to defuse, and. I think Uncle will be disappointed with that pistol round, I really do, because we discussed it earlier. It's it's very uncommon nowadays not to see the terrorists win the pistol round on Inferno. Mm. And when you consider how strong Encore, the strong situ position sorry, that Encore were in going into this second half, they'll have definitely wanted to win that pistol round and basically stick themselves at 15 rounds, but they haven't been able to do so. Kick, assuming they don't lose this round, should be able to prevent the... Uh, the early buy. Oh wait, no, they're not going to be able to prevent the early buy because they planted the bomb. So kick, they should make it 12-5 from this point on because Encore planted the bomb, so I think we will expect to see an early buy from him on the third round. But kick really need to build up momentum because Counter-Strike is a, yeah, it's a physical game. You need to be able to pop heads, you need to be able to, you know, have the right movement and so forth. That stuff gets you kills. But it's also, you've got to be a good team, you've got to be mentally prepared, you've got to be able to motivate yourself, you've got to make sure your head doesn't drop after, especially after such a poor half like kick just had. Mm -hmm. And someone, Dusk, in chat was actually mentioning that kick always do the same strats every team knows what they're gonna do and that's exactly what we saw from kick he hit the nail on the head we didn't see kick change it around on the T side they were just doing the same thing again and again and again and Encore said right you're gonna do the same thing again and again and again we're gonna do the same thing again and again and again that keeps working against the same thing that you keep doing again and again and again yeah I, I completely agree I really do it's been an interesting game indeed, no matter what the final scoreline is going to be, it's certainly going to be one to remember. Um, and of course, Encore are hopefully going to take this momentum which they've picked up so far and carry it through, not at least to the rest of the series, but to the rest of the tournament as well. Killdream is going to be able to pick up one there, and of course the aim here for the two sides is to try and get that bomb down. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. It's an absolute massacre at the B bomb site, and as soon as the round starts, it does finish indeed. So 12-5 and five is your score. Kick, of course, they've won both the pistol rounds, and they've won both... The you know, the consecutive rounds after that, but that's just not good enough. So some people will be like 12-5, okay, yeah, Encore is still smashing them, but we've got to remember the fact that all five rounds that Kick have picked up here, 
the other team have only had pistols. It's as simple as that, and mm. that's just not good enough. And again, and again, and again. No, yeah. it's ter <laughs> the terrorists. They've got AKs. They're pushing up banana. Also, direct to show us some of the love going on on the B bomb site. There's a heck of a, lo a lot of love going on, but for the terrorists, not for the CTs. Both CTs who are meant to be protecting this B bomb site have fallen to their deaths, and the bomb should go down any time now. Here we go. Zarte is going to plant it. Or is he? He should plant it now. Khan should get an easy kill. He will do. But now the CTs know exactly where he is. They know he's in ruins. But at 4 versus 2, it makes you wonder where the kick is going to go for this. Mutt will uh, make it 4 versus 3. Zarte gets the trade. And I think Roman's just going to run away. Yeah, he's going to run away. The right decision to make, in my opinion. But it's, they're pushing They're pushing kick right to the limit, Ch uh, Chewy. It's going to be 13-5. And you do have to wonder how many more of these mistakes kick can afford to make. Yeah, well, I think they've made way too many mistakes, and expanding on that point earlier on, the fact that Kick have only taken round against pistols, as soon as Encore here get rifles in their hand, they are able to push onto that B-bomb site with relative ease, taking out the two players on top of there, get the bomb down quickly, then take out another two, and force Roman to have to save that rifle, which I'm very sure he didn't want to do, he wanted obviously to, to you know, with the rest of his team, to push it and get some kills and pick up the round, but he's got to save that rifle, and that's going to be a force by coming in now by the looks of things from Kick. Got a couple of FAMASs, um, um, and a couple of M4s as well, so not the worst situation in the world, but still not looking too great for them. And Encore, only three rounds away from being able to take not only the game here on Inferno, but being able to take the series. Of course, they did win the first game on Dust 2, 16 to 12. So into round number 19 we go, and let's see what they're going to do, getting that crossfire going in there, over towards A, not going to work initially though, as Fox does manage to pick up one with his FAMAS, and that's going to back them completely off from there, so good hold so far from Kick, is it going to lead to anything special from them here, we'll have to find out. Yes, we will. On court, three rounds away from winning the game, let's see whether they can... Get their 14th round on the board. Show sick and kill dream. They've completely smoked out Banana, so no terrorists will be trying to go their way anytime soon. Flashes go out on quad as the terrorists uh, march towards both Arch and Quad. In fact, they are going to go towards Arch side. We've got in fact, all, f all four of them are going towards our side. Smokes galore on top of this A-bomb site. And finally, they've been spotted. Mutt gets one. Fox gets another. Natu's going to come in with the AK, but he's not going to be able to get it enough. It's Khan, last man standing. Drops one, but he's got four more to deal with. And 25 seconds on the clock. Khan gets two. He has a grenade coming at his feet. Mutt should be able to shut him down. But you know what, Chewie? Fair play to Khan for getting two frags, at least. Yeah, indeed. And forcing them to, to buy up their course kick. Uh... Finally getting some more money on the board. So they are going to be able to buy here relatively well, but the fact that he's just hurt their economy slightly by making them have to rebuy again is all going to be good. And of course, Encore with uh, rounds on in, in the row are going to be okay by the looks of things. Uh, they're actually going to go for an interesting buy. So they've got two AK-47s, a Galil, and two Glocks, but they're not going to be too worried really at this point. The fact that they've got such a crazy round advantage here isn't really going to make them too worried. And finally, Kick managed to get their first round on the board when playing against Rifles uh, on Inferno here, which is definitely something that I'd never imagined that I'd say in round number 20 of a game on Inferno. But in comes the push towards A once again. It'll be interesting to see where they manage to go with this one. Mark's going to pick up two headshots there into Zarte and Disturbed, which pretty much just leaves a very difficult situation here for the T's. As soon as I say that though, they've been able to pick up two Rifles and it's a 3 versus 3 situation. Reflex down to 18 HP, but in comes the push towards B. They've got to be quick, because the rotation's got to be coming in from Kill Dream, that is. But still, this isn't against Encore here. Do you remember that they only had three rifles at the start of this round, so if they can pick this one up, it's going to be big. Kill Dream does get one, though. Kill Dream's going to get the second, and that's pretty much going to confirm the round going in favour of Kick. But still, very, very close indeed. Nati's going to try and push through. He does manage to pick up Mutt there. He's got to try and back away from that one. And it's pretty close here. You wouldn't really pull it past now to with the way that this team have been playing for picking up this one versus two clutch here. And he's still got 31 seconds left on the clock to play with. So not quite all over yet. Kill Dream has been playing this B-bomb site very, very well so far, though, in this round. And we'll see if he can just finish things off quickly indeed. 20 seconds left on the clock. Nato's got to make a move sometime. He's got to do it now. He's got shots coming his way from everywhere. Left down to 25 HP. Eventually just delaying the inevitable. 13-7 is going to be your score. And now that should mean that Encore... Um, are they going to buy it? We're actually going to see. Let's have a look at their money. Oh no, their money's pretty awful actually. So this should be 13-8. And is this going to be the start of a comeback here for Kick? Still a long way for the Portuguese team to do it. Oh yeah. Um, 
they need someone to step up and carry them a bit like how Cristiano Ronaldo carries their football team. But they've got the quality to find the Cristiano Ronaldo within of CSGO. So here we go. Mutt is going to hold quad. No one actually. No, here we go. Mixing up the terrace with the counter terrace. Fox is going to be the man to hold arch. And uh, by the looks of things, Mutt knows there's someone in boiler room. Roman. Oh, he's got the bomb. And again, we're seeing. Uh, I think it was. No, I think it was Kick, as a matter of fact. But Uncle making the same mistake we saw Kick do when they were terrorists in losing the bomb so early on in the round. And the rest is just a simple mop up. Rifles versus pistols. My money's always going to be on the on the rifles, dude. Yeah, most definitely indeed, but it looks like it's going to be a buy coming in here for Encore, and this is where things can get interesting now, because I believe, well, it's definitely not a dual die round for Encore here, but of course, considering the fact that with the rivals that they've purchased now, all of them are left on $200 and below, so if they do lose this round, I would have thought they would probably be on another eco, if I'm right, and my economy's correct, and I'm not completely on the wrong end of the scale, and still, that could then mean that Relatively speaking, the rounds would be then 13-10. We did see, remember earlier on on Dust 2, that Kick were down by quite a few rounds. Managed to bring it back, but it wasn't quite enough. And I have a feeling it could potentially be the same kind of story here on Inferno. But again, you can never count a team out. And we can actually see two players, which is going to be Kill Dream and Showsick, pushing aggressively down towards Banana. So if they manage to wrap round here onto Encore and push down Banana and go into mid, it could get very nasty very quickly. But all of them stacked up here towards apartments and in comes the push, trying to get control of the pit as soon as possible. They're going to find places. It's a one-for-one -one trade. Reflex gets two up from top apartments. Down goes Roman and uh, sorry, that is going to be all left in the hands of Fox, Shosik and Killdream. And that bomb's going to get put down very quickly indeed. Great take on the A-bombs right here from Encore. Yep, leaving Kill Dream all by himself, and this is exactly what we needed. I'm quite surprised that Kick weren't managed to. Ma uh, sure, it's been long there, I can't even speak anymore, I'm feeling tired. Um, I've completely forgotten the point I wanted to make. Uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hashtag blame Kai. You How can't to speak believe. English language. How to speak, I forget. Um, <laughs> what I was trying to say is that I was quite surprised with how easily Encore were allowed to get on the A-bomb site and just quite simply jump from apps. Yeah. Um, there was someone in pit who was just, who started shooting at them after they all dropped out, but whoever that was, he was a bit too late. And I hate to say it, but maybe he should he should have been able to kill at least the first guy running through, you know what I mean, if he had his yeah. eyes on apps. And yeah, yeah, yeah. a little mistake like that, when the score, when Encore are so close to match point, might end up costing kick the game. Yeah, it could indeed. And once again, Mods, Please stop putting the chat into subscribe mode only if you've just done that. I've just seen somebody doing that. We are we, we have got logs, so we are able to find out who does keep putting it in subscriber mode, and I don't think you're going to be a mod for much longer. Please stop doing it, guys. Just let people have their fun. You know, it's calmed down with people ruining the scores and posting early and stuff, so just let people enjoy themselves in the chat. Thank you. I'm not going to go on about it again. I don't like telling people off, but mods are annoying me today. Anyway, round number 23 we go. 14-8 is your score. Encore, two single rounds away from confirming themselves to progress through to the next round. And if I can have a look, I'm just going to try and bring up the bracket and have a look and see who they're going to be playing up against. So it's going to be against the winner of Mouse Sports and Copenhagen Wolves, um, which they'll be playing up against. Yeah, that best of three hasn't even started yet, so it could be quite a while before that uh, game commences, if it is going to be even played today. But still, tough task, whatever a team they play up against there because you know Encore yeah we've seen that they're a good team here but going up against either Mouse Sports or Copenhagen Wolves um, or um, yeah Mouse Sports or Copenhagen Wolves that's going to be a big game yep it will be but uh, I'll tell you what Kick probably don't give a damn about that game at the moment they want to try and bring themselves back into this game Encore two rounds away oh Fox you can't miss from there finally makes up for it but the fact that he missed the first shot has left him on only nine points of health Zarte knows there's going to be someone in pit. That someone was Roman. Ten seconds and counting. And well, Encore left it late. But the bomb is going to go down. Disturbed with the headshot onto Mutt. And the Portuguese players are dropping like flies. The bomb has been dropped on the A bomb site. And it's ticking. Show 6 is going to try and rotate. But they put the smoke in his way. And... I honestly feel Show 6 is pain right now. All he wants to do is just push into that bomb site and 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 just pop some heads, but he can't because that annoying smoke is in the way. 
And indeed, Zato is going to be able to pick up two. Reflex finishes the round off. So that's going to be good there for Encore. That's going to push themselves onto match point. 15-8 is your score. And having a look at the money situation, it's absolutely dire here for Kick. They've only got pistols, and even so, they're only going to be able to buy deagles and stuff. So this is a real last-ditch effort. They've got uh, three deagles, a CZ, and a PT-50. They've all managed to buy head armor, but... This is, you know, if they lose this, obviously it's match over and that's going to be it. So Encore really been impressive so far and they showed their resilience after a tough series earlier on against Titan. Shows that they were warmed up here and hopefully it's, uh, it's going to be, a, you know, a convincing victory then and hopefully they're going to be happy with it and hopefully everybody in the chat who's a fan of Encore is going to be happy with that as well. Commiserations for Kick, but unfortunately when they needed to, they just haven't quite shown up here. No, they haven't. And Kick, they know it's the last round. They've forced bought, but the fact that they only have pistols pretty much sums up their economic... Oh, hello! Kick is going to get not only a kill, but he's going to pick up that AK-47. He's going to fall back, and the reason he's falling back is because he's going to actually give it to one of his teammates, because he is on low HP. So it's going to be Mutt who's going to get the all-powerful AK-47. And Chewy, auto-director messed up. Yeah, and We right. know what that means. Yeah, indeed. So, Auto Director had a bit of a nightmare there, which does lead to something, but we won't quite call it yet. We're going to see. But anyway, we're back on board with it now, and Reflex is actually the man on my screen getting those smoke grenades ready to push in towards the B bomb site, where it looks like that's going to be coming any second. We can actually see Khan over towards A, just covering, making sure that nobody's going to be rotating anytime quickly. But the push should come in any second. Khan does get one there onto Fox, taking him out. And that could be the last time we see that man here in this series. In come the shots, in comes the push towards B, but shows the catch there does get a nice p250 headshot there into disturb so the man advantage is in favor of kick here what's going to get another one There's seven seconds left on the clock and what's going on here this is absolutely crazy reflex left in a one versus three situation and roman and mutt have been able to pick up ak-47s here the cts of one of the bomb wasn't going to get planted so we had a feeling that because auto director marks up that was kind of hinting towards the end of the game but we didn't want to call it but that wasn't the case 59 is going to be our score well, I guess Auto Director mucks up in more ways than one, then. <laughs> yeah, definitely, and that's not uncommon, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So, Valve, work on it a little bit, please, for the next up. It'd really help us. But anyways, here we go. AKs all round for Encore. And, again, a very, very hard force buy for Kick. They've got two AKs, which they, of course, saved from the last round. But they also have two Famases. And when you see the Famases come out for the counter-terrorists, you just know they're in financial trouble. Yeah. But, hey, this is the sided map. I see no reason whatsoever as to why Kick can't win this round. We know they're capable, they have the quality. We haven't seen too much of that quality yet. We've only seen it in small glimpses. But, they need to wake up and smell the bacon, because one more mistake, it'll cost them the round, and it'll cost them customers a, uh, a spot in Cologne in a few weeks' time. Indeed, and, and unless they take this game to overtime and then somehow manage to win the third map, it's all going to be over for them. Back and forth trades are coming in at the second Khan, and Mutt exchanging, as we can see now, two going down. And uh, I already see Fox getting knocked down to 19 HP, but still all the same. Two of Encore are going down here, and it's all going to be left up to Reflex and Disturbed as things stand. It's a three versus two situation. Reflex and Disturbed are evening up the situation there with two huge frags on the A bomb site. Auto Director mucks up, but the bomb has been planted here, and in comes the rotation from Kick. And this is what's disappointing about Kick so far the fact that, you know, they had a four on two man advantage, and suddenly those two quick frags here on the A bomb site have just completely changed it. And now we see Encore with, you know, the control of the A bomb sites all being left up to show Zik here in a one versus two situation. They've been able to rotate from B, but that grenade is basically going to give away his position. He has been able to pick up one here. I'm not quite sure if he knows where Disturbed is. And all Disturbed needs to do is waste time just for a few more seconds. He's going to find that player, and he's going to get the kill and confirmation there that Encore will progress through to the next round in the loser's bracket here. 16-12 on Dust2, 16-9 on Inferno. GG's come in the chat. And very impressive there from the Finnish squad. Unfortunately, Kick will not be going to Cologne. No, they won't be. And in a way, that's a bit disappointing because I do like Kick as a team. I think they're a very yeah. good side. But Encore, 